Okay, well, I've done five batches with this little technique I came up with, so I want, want to run through these. There's five different sets of square coasters. Um, so I'll work on documenting the technique, and I'll post that video sometime, not sure when. It's really, the technique is not that hard. It's just one of these things you got to kind of have to figure out. So this is the first one. This is the first one. Uh, really good definition inside of those ravines. Those were hand painted in gold, so I'm just gonna run these through these. Um, so these are gonna sit for probably another few days and I'm gonna seal them and uh, I'll put them out in the markets. I don't know, probably in a week or so. I may take one set out to the market come in this weekend, see how they are. So that was the first ones. So you got a nice ravine down the middle, a hand painted gold in there, kind of break it up. I think they look kind of cool. Uh, so I kind of just let them have whatever, whatever I kind of just left the molds to be and painted that gold paint down the middle. So these, these were just to kind of see how the techniques work. Um, then I moved into these three, which were a little bit more purposeful on what I wanted to do. Now, a little bit deeper ravines in here to kind of show that movement. I think that there's the gold kind of shows a little movement. So I worked on a couple things to get a little line across it without making it look too wacky. And I'm getting that gold right there, so I'll seal these. I think they look really cool. That gold reflects really nice. Um, so yeah, these are the five versions or techniques I did. I just like the little lines we got going across. Gives it a little, uh, a little bit more. And these were some of the ones I did yesterday. I actually did two sets. Yesterday, I did one right before we went to the market, which will be this last set. So these are kind of a little bit longer lines to kind of see how they looked with a longer line. I like how they, that gold kind of reflects that. It's really kind of cool. So you kind of get that little movement down in there. I'm going to seal them with the Echo Advance later in the week. So these were the ones I did when I went out right before we went out to the market. So I wanted a heavy side, a light side, and coming down. So that's kind of what we all four of these have that three, that little Y shape, if you want to call it that. And uh, there's a reason for that. And I'll show you once I get these. So I'll show these to you. I think they came out kind of really nice. So let me make a little room here. I'll show you why I wanted to do that. So, when I thought about the way I wanted to get these to look, so we're kind of, this is a set of four, so I could go this route. They kind of go together. Or if we wanted to do something like this, kind of go together. So something like that. So I was trying to go in for something that had kind of a connectivity to it. So that's why I came up with that design. I think they look really kind of cool. Um, these other ones were more along the line of trying to work a, a circular pattern in. See, this one was a little bit off, but I still think it looks kind of cool. It's circular, little lines running across. Uh, a lot of this was just to playing around to see what was going to work. And like these, it was about the same thing. Uh, wasn't trying to be perfect and get everything totally in sync, but it was kind of just to to get some kind of a 
think this one would win up here. I don't know. There was just something like that. It's kind of get a little bit of something to it where they can all just, you know, sit like this on your coffee table or something like that. So just to kind of get a little difference in there uh, to kind of work that up. And I'll work on documenting the things. These were kind of, I wanted to get these to kind of have the same type of, you know, going down. So, so it was kind of just something like that. Nothing really funky. It was just kind of just to play around to see if we can get something that just kind of goes together. Doesn't go together. A little bit chaotic. Kind of. Or maybe not so chaotic. Uh, wasn't trying to be perfect. These were kind of my little demos to see how the technique would work. Technique works really good. Uh, especially if I let stuff sit <clears throat> for quite a long time after I do it. Um, because this set that I did here yesterday, I poured it like at 5 a.m. I demolded it at about 6 p.m. after my uh, after the market yesterday, and these just came out perfect. So, um, but we don't need to. You don't need to work on a technique like that. This just was me to kind of uh, playing around to see how it worked, but see how they. These guys, I love the little shimmer of that gold in there. It gives it a little movement in the little ravines. And I'll I'll clear clear it uh, I'll put the echo advance in for these. But these are all gonna go up on the rack now for a few days. And uh, I'll kind of forget about them <laughs> for a few days. And uh, I just love that. That is just so cool. Because it just got that really nice, cool shine in there. So I will get those done this week, and I'll post those. Okay, bye.